So let's uh, continue on this uh, idea, come salam, and then do the same this time with this exercise number two. <coughs> now this exercise number two is going to deal with just more variables. This is nothing some nothing complicated. Just more variables to deal with, and this time we have uh, four variables. But I did not mention the data type, so it's up to you. But then I would like to have the sum of those four numbers, and the difference, their product and their average. <coughs> and this d you should y display some result like this. The sum is, the average is, the difference, etc. So let's do something like that. First of all, every time you create a new project, give it a name, and make sure it saves in the right place before clicking on finish. Okay, now uh, I'm going to declare four variables. Do we have to mention any data type? Well, nobody was mentioning any data type, so you can choose anything you want. And just for a change, I'm going to use an int. So I'm going to use n1, n2, n3, and n4. That's p, it should be n for consistency. Now. I need to put some values in them because there were no values mentioned so I'm going to put any value that I'd like to have. I'm going to put old values here so I'm going to declare and initialize at the same time. So just something to make it easy. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. I meant 4. Now in order for me to be able to display this, there are two ways. Either I dis I, the easiest way is to declare a variable for each one of these results. So I'd like uh, to calculate the sum. I'm going to declare a variable sum and I'll put the result of that variable there so I can display it. And this is what I'm going to do. For example, the sum, uh, I'm going to have an int. So the sum of ints is an int. And I'm going to call it sum, which is equal to what? n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 then if I'd like to display it system dot out dot print ln the sum is and then plus and then put the sum so this is now we're going to tell me the sum is 10 is it 10? 4 plus 3 that's 7 plus 2, 9, 10. So that's good. And I need to do the same thing again with the rest. Notice that I did not type all my code, then I run. I just typed the minimum code possible to make just at least be able to see if it works with one calculation. If it works with one, you can see that, I'm just, that the others are just copy and paste with small changes. Now if I'd like to have the difference, copy and paste and call it difference for example and then this is going to be minus 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 and then copy and paste the difference and is and then I display the difference notice one thing I did not type the whole code the whole name of the variable with NetBeans if you just type the first the beginning of a letter of, of, an, of, a, of a variable name and with control space if there are no different suggestions it's just going to tell you this is what you mean so I'm going to finish it for you so you don't have to type all the things and this is good because it will avoid for you for example maybe you make a difference a spelling mistake or something like that then it should tell you well this is the same why is it not working well because there's a small difference so NetBeans is going to help you with that just to type the small the first part for example like this and then control space even just one letter in this case is going to show you but oh double also starts with D so it will tell you to give you some options what do you want which one you want I would like to have this one so okay double click and then you have it there so NetBeans will help you to avoid making mistakes so use that help from NetBeans how to use that control space control space okay and let's uh, continue let's run and see if it's working okay and then uh, I'm just going to do the same with the product and the product which means oops uh, cont control C control V and name it product 
and this is going to be multiplication and copy and paste product and the difference is going to be product and run again it's looking good I don't know if I'd like to check 4 times 3 12 times 2 24 times 1 that's 24 so that's what we got now the last one is the average right so I'm going to name this average now the average is actually like a sum which basically is just the sum divided by 4 right and now just copy and paste and this is the average and just do the average oops what happened control space finishes my typing and the average is 2 is it the average is 2 10 divided by 4 that's 5 divided by 2 that's 2.5 and I'm having two. Exactly. You see what I'm doing? I'm dividing an int by an int. The result is going to be an int. So what I should do, make one of them double. I should make one of them double. So the easiest one is to do this one. Five becomes five point, uh, sorry, four becomes 4.0. Now this becomes double. but I have a problem so it tells me incompatible types possible lossy conversion from double to int because now this is a double that I'm trying to put inside of an int that's not possible so I should do this should become double what if I'd like to make it float I need to put an F here And now this is going to be 2.5. If I make it double, it's going to be 2.5. So very important, you have to be careful to that. With that, what if we just say, oh, just you know, keep it as it was, but then just declare the variable double. Is it going to be enough? Yes, right? No. No. Because you still divide an int by an int, the result is going to be int. So it's like f 10 divided by 4, int by int will give you 2. And then this 2, I'm going to put it into a variable that is double. So this 2 is going to be converted to 2.0 because it's, it's possible to put a small data type into a bigger data type. So 2 becomes 2.0. And then I'm going to display 2.0. But does not mean that I had the good calculation. The problem still here the problem is not just I need just to make this double I have two things here the first one is this should be okay hold on this should be made to be division division of an int by a double and then this result that is a double need to be stored into a double variable so that's the thing two things needs to be needs to be done here don't don't think that just if I do one of them that will be enough that's not enough. I need to do both of them. Now what if, what if for example, I just would like to show you something really, something new. Uh, what if I do something like this? Now I declared the new variable called total and instead of dividing by 4, I divide by total. It's still going to display 2. How can I force one of them to be double? Without declaring them as double, this is what I'd like to, to show it also. Something new. We haven't seen it yes, yesterday. So, there's a way if you'd like, so this is for example an int, or this is an int. If I'd like to convert them to double, if they're a number, I just put point 0. <coughs> if they're not a number, like a, a value, it's a variable, 
I can do something like this. Between parentheses, between these parentheses, I put the data type. That means now this sum is going to be converted to a double. And then this will make that now I'm dividing a double by an int. And this is going to be giving me the 2.5 that I'm looking for. So this is some kind of a forced conversion. I'm converting this variable, the content of this variable is going to be converted from whatever it is, this is int, is going to be converted to a double, and then this double is going to be divided by whatever it's in total, which is an int. So double divided by an int is going to give you a double, and this is going to make us happy as well. So this is another way to do the same thing. As you can see, this is also going to give us 2.5. But this is new to you. If you'd like to convert, actually this has a name, it's called typecasting. Typecasting is like a conversion from a data type to another data type. But of course, you need to convert from a smaller data type to a bigger data type. Because if you convert from a bigger data type to a small data type, you can still do that, but you may lose some information. For example, this double average, what if I do something like this? Now, look at this average. I'm going to make something like this. Int average. Now, what is going to happen? That means this average is going to be converted to an int, and then I'm going to see it on the screen. Where? Where after the display of this average. So if I run this. So this double was converted to an int, which means the 2.5 threw away the 0.5. And now it's just two. So this type casting allows you to convert between data type and another data type. How it works? You just need to put the, the data type in between parentheses. Now, in this case, when I had to convert one of them to double, one of them had to be converted to double. So if the total is converted, this is going to give us the same result. All right. So that's it about this exercise.